Some people are so committed to bondage, if you hand them the key to set them free, they will fight you. They will throw that key back in your face like you don't know what you're talking about. Sitting in bondage is where it's at. And I say this because I want people to understand, don't take things personal. It's a scripture somewhere where Jesus was telling the disciples, basically, dust that that stuff off your feet. Don't take it personal because people have free will. So what they choose to do with their free will, if they want to sit in bondage, that's fine. But you are supposed to be obedient to God and to set the captives free that want to be set free. You got to understand what you're doing is connected to somebody else's deliverance. And you cannot stop just because one person wants to sit in bondage. That's their choice. That don't have nothing to do with you and what you are giving out. Dust that stuff off your feet and keep going and let them people sit in bondage. The greatest thing I ever found out is you're not assigned to everybody. So with that being said, everybody is not going to resonate with what you're giving out. That's fine. You are not, you weren't assigned to them. You weren't called to them. So you have to understand this. This is why understanding is everything. You won't take it personal or put it with your self-worth. Oh, I'm not valuable enough because they're not receiving it. Them people ain't called to you. And you know what you do with the people that you aren't called to? Tell them folks, I love you with the love of Christ. God bless you and bye. Okay, and keep going on about your journey because people will try to make you feel so less than because they can't relate. People that live in freedom and people that live in bondage ain't never going to have nothing in common. I understand it. But guess what? I don't have time to sit up here and go back and forth with you. I love you. God bless you. And bye.